Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you had a great first day. And after this very exciting presentation from JJ, we've learned a lot about how to commercialize the autonomous driving technology in an incremental approach from MobileEye. We are a, so my, my name is Sunny Choi. I am responsible for business development at Plus. We are a software tech startup based out of uh, Silicon Valley, Santa Clara, with European head office here in Munich. So not all startups, I would say, have a moonshot approach towards autonomy commercialization. Actually, from Plus side, we also pursue an incremental approach to deploy autonomous driving technology. And I would like to tell you a little bit more about it today. So I will give you first insights into the key challenges in the market. And you've heard Mobileye in terms of autonomous driving technology focused on past cars. I will bring in a little bit of a different perspective commercial vehicles because we are talking about IA mobility, right? So transport solutions in the commercial space are also an integral part of mobility. So I will highlight some of the key trends in the market. I will talk about who we are what we do and also what our product offering is. And at the end, I would like to talk about what are the success enablers to successfully commercialize the technology in the market that also brings a value and business benefits to the industry. Now, let's first talk about the market. Why autonomous driving technology? Why is this relevant? And what problems are we actually trying to solve with it? So if we look into the logistics industry, I think we can all agree that the logistics industry has been facing severe challenges when it comes to driver shortage, for example. Especially during COVID times, there was a peak in global driver shortage, while the demand for transport solutions was increasing exponentially. So we saw a driver shortage of globally 2.6 million just in 2021, and 400,000 of those unfilled truck driver drops were just in Europe, so that was a big pain. Also, it's been very challenging to attract new and young talented drivers to basically succeed the next generation of drivers in the trucking industry because it's a challenging job. Second trend and also challenge is the safety. So we've seen a lot of increased safety accidents on the road and 80% of accidents are actually caused by driver errors is what a study found. And 60% of traffic injuries are due to risky driving behavior. Third challenge is the environment. I think we are all aware here in Europe there are tight regulations and the target for Europe is to be climate neutral by 2050, which increases the requirements towards technology and innovation. And while tr trucks are 9% on, of the total vehicle on the road, they contribute to 30% of total CO2 transport emissions. So the sustainability aspect is a big trend and also issue that needs to be solved from a technology perspective. So these are challenges, but challenges also bring opportunities, right? Opportunities for new innovation that can address these challenges. And from Plus side, we believe that automated driving will deliver a, or will contribute a significant portion to delivering safer and also more sustainable solutions to the transport industry. So when we look at the AD market, we've learned about why is this relevant, but what has happened in the market and what is the adoption rate of such technology? When we think three years back, I think there was a huge, not hype, but a big, big uh, trend towards level four, driverless. There were billions of investments in the industry and everyone went straight to level four. I think that's the moonshot approach that um, JJ was mentioning. But I think over the recent years, we also see a, a change in that market where I think a lot of companies come to realize that the technology development, having a validated safety concept to have the level four technology ready for the market is actually gonna take a little bit longer because it is quite complex to solve these edge cases, safety validation, and so on. And also when we talk to customers, they say autonomous driving is great. I do see the business case and it will come. But at the same time, we are looking for solutions that are available now and that can help increase safety and sustainability in the next two years and not in the next five years. And that's why when you see, look at this chart, that is the blue area, kind of the in between level four and basic today's traditional ADAS, the level two plus plus function that we also heard in the earlier presentation, which we call highly automated driving. 
So we see that there is a significant fast adoption of this technology. And also for quite some, some time, this will be a big portion of the market that will be uh, adopted and also deployed at scale. So we see this market, the level two plus plus, highly automated driving sector as a highly attractive market opportunity and uh, prepares also the way towards a level four system because this level two plus plus technology will help also to start accumulate lots of miles and collect real world data that will then help to uh, feed back into the data engine for level four and have a fully uh, safe validated level four system. So let's look into or listen to the voice of the customers. What are the fleets in the industry saying? Overall, in a nutshell, I would say fleets need solutions that bring commercial to benefits also in the short term, and fleets want autonomy. Why is that? I think I, I mentioned earlier, they, when we talked, we've conducted an interview with more than 100 fleet customers together with McKinsey, and we learned driver safety improvement is the first top priority for them to solve. Second one, improving fuel efficiency that then pays also, also into the sustainability targets is the second priority and a very important thing to solve. And the third one is the driver retention that pays into retaining drivers and helping to have sufficient drivers that are happy and also staying with the customer. One is to be able to um, meet the demand of driving drivers and at the same time also reducing the cost of TCO because every time you lose a driver and have to onboard a new one, it's an onboarding cost of roughly 10,000 US in the US at least. So asking the customers, we have also found the result that 70% of uh, the European fleets are willing to switch the company or the OEM brand if that OEM were to offer a more superior autonomy offering. So expectations are increasing towards, we have fast changing customer requirements, they want fast adaptability of feature development, and third, um, they want upgradability of software features over the air so it allows for flexibility and also fast adaptation. So these are all challenges and opportunity and, and also trends that also bring opportunities, opportunities for the entire automotive industry, such as the OEM having to provide the vehicles and updating the vehicle architecture, as well as the T1 and software companies like us who can contribute with very distinct and advanced software capabilities, enabling the partners in the industry to achieve their goals. So this is um, plus, and this is also our mission to basically contribute to driving safer and cleaner environment with our autonomous software solutions. Uh, just in a nutshell, we were founded in 2016, started in Cupertino, have now our headquarter in Santa Clara, Silicon Valley. Uh, we have global operations, so we have, as I mentioned, opened a head office here in, Euro uh, in Munich for Europe and we are pursuing an open autonomy platform, meaning that we see us as an enabler to the market, meaning we offer off-board modules, the actual AV functionalities, or the vehicle integration modules as a service to the tier ones or OEM customers. Over the years, we have basically governed down our level four technology that we initially started with, but seeing the market opportunity level two plus plus to a level two plus plus product that we call plus drive. The way how we came to that product is actually working with customers together who tell us this is the product that we need, this is the pain point that we have, so please help us uh, prepare or develop certain features that really are needed by us as a fleet customer. And that's our Plus Drive product, which we have um, jointly developed with our anchor customer, Amazon, that we've been working with since 2019. And since 2021, our Plus Drive uh, product is in commercial operation with uh, fleet customers like Amazon, but also others in the US as well as uh, Europe. At the same time, we have in parallel a development stream towards level four. This is of course in development, it's an R&D stage still because a lot of safety concepts and other relevant things, vehicle platform redundancies and so on still need to be develop, developed. So this is a, a parallel stream that we are pursuing with our strategic OEM partners. So this is our, also, as mentioned, incremental product portfolio. And our uh, go-to-market approach is to really have a clear focus on 
productizing our technology and not just to have an R&D project. So when you look at the roadmap here, you are all aware of the basic ADAS level one, level two functions, which are typically uh, based on front cameras, front radars, a drive by wire, a decentralized compute architecture, which provides rather reactive uh, features and ADAS, um, ADAS solutions. So Plus Drive, as mentioned, um, brings additional features and also uh, faster adapt adaptability and upgradability. And this is because we have uh, a different and uh, an additional sensor setup, which is based on surround cameras, surround radars, and optional LiDAR that provides a 360 degree view, allowing to see all traffic scenarios and data from coming behind, from the side, and also from the front, which allows to have a better reaction to the traffic situation, avoiding severe car accidents, and also providing to a better driver comfort for the drivers. So it's a predictive element because of this architecture that also consists, and that is, I think, a key differentiator of a centralized um, compute with high processing power. Um, then the next generation would be our super drive, our level four product, which we are in parallel working on with our OEM partners, as mentioned. And that is basically, in addition to what you see on Plus Drive, working on the redundancies in terms of the actuation sensors, but of course also having uh, a fully validated safety concept for level four. And I think that secret sauce still needs to be developed, needs to be found, but this is all based on very close collaboration between us tier ones as well as OEMs. So it's a close collaboration. So given the time, I will skip um, the what does uh, plus drive or level two plus plus mean. I think the best way to understand what it's capable of is by showing you how it works and also what maneuvers and features it covers with the video. Here's how plus drive works. Best in class LiDAR and radar sensors combined with a state of the art multi-view camera system work together to create a long range 360 degree view with centimeter level accuracy. Data from this sensor array streams into the main computer where deep neural networks and modern algorithms work together to perceive the world, choose the optimal driving behavior, and turn it into steering, brake, and throttle controls for the truck. This powerful system allows Plus Drive to react many times faster than a human driver. Plus Drive is optimized to drive in the most fuel efficient way, resulting in around 10% fuel savings. Plus Drive makes the hard stuff seem easy and the easy stuff even safer, like safely steer to stay in its lane. Stuck in traffic, Plus Drive can automatically adjust the speed of the truck to maintain a safe distance from vehicles ahead, coming to a full stop as needed. It can also handle merging traffic, whether there's a new lane merging onto the highway or two highway lanes converging. At the request of the operator, Plus Drive can overtake a vehicle Plus Drive will come to a slow stop when there's enough time, but when needed, it can also perform an emergency stop with a full braking power available on the truck. Over the air, or OTA updates, allow us to upgrade Plus Drive remotely while the truck is resting. Like a firmware update, every OTA update will optimize and increase Plus Drive's features and capabilities. So this is, in a nutshell, what our product is that's commercially deployed in the US with anchor customers like Amazon, as mentioned. In Europe, we're working on a serious production program with Iveco. We have just recently announced a partnership um, in Australia uh, with Transurban for Level 4. So you see we maintain this dream from Level 2++ plus plus while continuously developing on also the Level 4 technology deployment. So this is who we are. I hope that this was a, this was a good insight into who we are, what our technology uh, capabilities are as well as what our go-to-market approach is. If you have more questions or are interested to collaborate, please feel free to find me after this presentation. Thank you so much for listening and uh, looking forward to connect with you after this uh, presentation. Thank you very much.